Good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is your friend and neighborhood weep, the Eisenberg here, and today on the 9th of November at 1909, I'm going to begin my review of episode 19 of Dr. Stone to Modernity. So basically it started off with Suka reviving this fairly yeah yoga and obviously kind of we got like a little look of the empire of might the camp that Suka put together and as you can see it's kind of like Mad Max kind of stuff but Stone Age uh, we've got this character here not sure who they are. Uh, and obviously because it was gone through their kind of village and about well their camp and what they were doing. Uh, obviously this is where Suka's kinda of just letting Hyoga know about like history leading up to now where they are. Because they said to Hyoga uh, in his own words, obviously reading between the lines he says, Welcome to the future, you're 3,700 years in the future. Um, and then they got to the point where they were speaking about a, the old world, and they don't want to kind of revive that. Hey... I'm going to introduce to someone else as well. This a uh, curvy blonde lassie. Um, yeah. <laughs> that was the old world where people fought and stole from each other. And this was obviously when Gen was. This was before Gen went back to. Are like a double agent between Senku and uh, Suka. And also this is observation that observation that I made that take someone strong, handsome and soft spoken. Um because obviously what he wanted to do was turn them on each other, but he can't obviously because it's been shown that even though This guy is clearly the bad guy. Uh, he's a typical villain, he's shown like two sides. You know, he's like, well, it's like, he's shown his comrades his soft side, his charismatic side, to rally them behind him. Uh, and obviously these two kind of was like obviously it was a great shot these two walking down the valley and um I'm talking about all kind of stuff that didn't correct me on the point it's just it was boring as hell because we're talking about all this stuff it's just like okay fair enough da -da 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 -da. then we got introduced to this person here she is Hyoga's right hand person, uh, Homura. Now she's a little firebrand, if you will. She led the attack on the village, Ishigami village. Uh, basically burned down the second bridge so that Priestess couldn't get to her people to help her, to help them. Um, and obviously, Senku made a really good point. He was just like, he said to some people, he was like, don't bother putting the fire out, get out of here. And obviously, he's like, the priestess was completely useless, she couldn't do anything because the bridge was burnt down. And she had to just wait and look at Chrome and have to say, well, we can't do anything, sorry. <laughs> 
So obviously all of them went to the science shed and I think they've they're rebuilding the village around about the well obviously they'll be building stuff around about the science shed. Um Yeah. One thing I did notice about this new character, she's got deep pink eyes that almost seem alien like. That you're sure when you see her in the episode where her allegiance is right, uh, lay, but you can never tell because she's just a typical kind of female villain in an anime where she could be hiding something between those pretty pink eyes to be quite honest I think she is because looking at a picture of other now she doesn't seem like she can be trusted she's either gonna kinda join Senku's camp probably by betraying Suka I call it now she's probably gonna leave that camp that she's in the new and join Senku's camp because she can be seen in the title sequence eating candy floss so obviously Senku makes candy floss for her but anyway uh, so basically what it was also all that stuff happened and the fight kind of continued uh, between two of them two villages the Suka's village in the Senku's village um, there was a lot of action um, they got to the point, they got back to Senku actually used the the dangerous toxic air thing from the previous episode now I mean the toxic air episode was in episode 12, Buddies Back to Back. The... If you remember my previous video where I sulfuric... Yeah, sulfuric acid. The sulfuric acid uh, creature came back out and obviously <laughs> kind of killed all the, like, numbskulls that were there. Uh, and Hyoga... Hyoga... Hyoga and uh, Komaru were really really impressed by this because Koyoga just goes like oh well you'll finally do your jobs and dumps the, the numbskulls with staff like and I'm like oh, okay talk about getting rid of your colleagues so they mean nothing and obviously because they flicked them down into the uh, down below where they died because obviously the sulfuric acid got into the air and they breathed and then like completely did like in seconds. Uh, so obviously Hoga and Homaru waited at the very top of the tree until the gas had passed. And then they went back to uh, Suka and they were like, yeah, everything again is told you is a lie. Senku is alive and it took uh, the camera spun room, well the camera didn't spin room the camera also looked at uh, Suka at this point and it's a stereotypical kind of look that he, he gave the camera it was like you know how villains are when they find out that the one person they try to kill isn't dead That kind of look. What does this say? My plan failed. Uh, before I continue on with what I'm going to say, also, episode. This episode was obviously episode 19. Episode 20 next week is episode 20, obviously, The Age of Energy. So, obviously, that's just come, come in a bit because thank you said that they're now going to make mobile phones and then they obviously flash to the two people that are like the double agents that are already there Taiju and Olasi 
see? Again, I would remember their names before long. <laughs> Just means of a can I remember their names near enough at the, the later half of the season. But anyway, like I say, hopefully you've enjoyed my review and I'll see you next week for episode 20. Uh, the video is going to be the video is going to be after uh, the newest episode of my Pokemon Sword playthrough because that's what's going to be happening next week I think my Pokemon Sword and Shield playthrough is going to be happening next week I'm really looking forward to showing you guys my playthrough. So, uh, as ever, my links will be in the description for GB Reviews if he's done a video on this episode, which he probably already has. Which is why I wait with my episode, my reviews. Wait until he puts his videos out and then I'll link to his videos. <laughs> anyway, hey, uh, hmm. I'll leave you to go and watch his video after this one. Mm -hmm. Good night and God bless.